I'm still not religious, but if you still are, I wouldn't object if you prayed for them. Anyway, that's enough for now. Your dear brother, Professor Harry Ransom, like Brenner, etc., etc. Dear Sue, I guess if you get this letter it means that May will have got the other one, because I have mailed neither of them yet and will mail them together if I ever get a chance to mail anything at all. Ask her to share her letter and share this one with her. I know you will anyway. Hope you all are well. Your kid brother Harry is not doing too badly. Keep smiling, that's what they say, isn't it? How is he writing to us, you'll be thinking, if he is up in the hills with nothing in the world but three dollars in his pockets and mud on his shoes and a few tools and scraps of wine Mr. Carver carries all the time? Well, you're right. I like to think I am smart, but I know you are the shrewd one, really. I got to somewhere. I am writing these letters from a town in the World's Edge, a room in the World's Edge Hotel, in a town called Disorder. It's about four days south, or maybe north, but in either case, not too far west or east from the town or wherever it was. I have told you already how directions get confused out of the room of the world, or maybe I told a name. You would hate it. In any case, I do not plan to tell you about what it was like to walk in the heat with nothing except to say that when I am finally rich and famous, I would have earned it fair and square. <laughs> I have entered into a business arrangement with the owner. He will give me room and board free for two weeks while I work. There is a great deal your brother can do in two weeks. I am not out of the game yet, and tomorrow is a new morning. Good night. Yours, Harry. Okay, Jess. I know Sue and May will share the other letters with you. Do not share this letter with them. I ask as your brother. You know how Sue can be judgmental and May is religious, or at least she was when I left town, anyway. And anyway, I do not want to tell them the situation, but I must tell someone, because I am both guilty and pleased with myself, and cannot sleep. And not only because Mr. Carver is snoring in the next room so badly it is bothersome like an engine. 